The St. Lucia Tourism Authority recently concluded its first curated in-market event since 2019 in association with the Ministry of Tourism. Presenting St. Lucia to the travel trade, consumer, travel media, and key diaspora leadership audiences, the summer St. Lucia-style roadshow got underway in New York City on June 9. The keynote address delivered by Tourism Minister Honorable Dr. Ernest Tiller expressed gratitude for the relentless support of St. Lucia. Thank you for being with St. Lucia through the difficult months that we've been through and for being there with us. And we look forward to you continuing to work with us in the months to come. There are a lot of exciting things that will happen and you must be part of it. More than just bringing visitors to St. Lucia, you are sustaining a country. St. Lucia is heavily dependent on the tourism industry. 40% of our GDP is directly connected to the tourism industry, and about 60% of our GDP is indirectly connected. So in many ways, the work that you do is sustaining livelihoods in St. Lucia. And for that, we are very grateful. Visitor arrivals from the USA and UK have begun to surpass optimistic projections, inspiring more confidence in brand St. Lucia. Continuing across Canada, Dallas and Miami, CEO of the St. Lucia Tourism Authority, Lauren Charles St. Jules, introduced the gateway options to St. Lucia, including the data-driven direct service with American Airlines from Dallas, Texas. There's non-stop service from Charlotte, from Philly, from Miami as well, and also JFK. So there's enough service for you um, on the East Coast, as well as if you have clients, there's JetBlue daily non-stop, there's Delta out of Atlanta, um, there's Boston also out of um, JetBlue non-stop. And JetBlue just announced the Mint service as well. So there's so much. We are so excited that in spite of what's going on in the airline industry, there's a lot of confidence in St. Lucia. The flights have increasing um, just in time for the summer. Attendees also got an insight into future product development projects, including new experiences for residents and visitors to enjoy. They also got a taste of a selection of St. Lucian rums. Representing the creative industries was St. Lucia's very own vocalist, Steffi Ann St. Clair and saxophonist Richard Joseph. Setting the tone for the highly anticipated return of St. Lucia Carnival was the chairman of the board of directors, Thaddeus M. Antoine. Somebody call my mother. Hey, somebody call my mother. <laughs> St. Lucia Carnival is back, and it's back in a big way. It'll be even bigger next year, but we are preparing for next year, and it's back this year in July, on the 18th and the 19th of July. It's best if you come a few days before, so you get all the different events taking place. And let me tell you, yes, I'm saying that your heat is unbearable, 102 degrees, but you know when you get to Carnival, Oh man, it gets even hotter. But you know, there's this spectacle and the beauty of the costumes, the revelers, the events, the parties, um, the drinks, the food. No one bothers with heat anymore. You, you hardly feel the heat because you yourself are the heat. The Summer St. Lucia Style Roadshow culminated with the St. Lucia Tourism Authority attending the annual Father's Day Diaspora Brunch in Brooklyn, New York. Attendees across all markets walked away with complimentary vacations, excursions, St. Lucian chocolates, Chairman's Reserve rum, craft and fashion accessories, compliments 15 St. Lucian partners. The destination is gearing up for an exciting summer, offering deals of up to 60% off on holidays, until September 30th, 2022. Visit stlucia.org forward slash summer St. Lucia style for more details.